Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and as you can see I'm revisiting one of my previous projects today. This is a pastel colours uh, spinning record pour that I did and today I'm going to try and turn this into a clock. So I've bought myself a little clock kit and these are all of the parts. You have your clock mechanism. So if you are looking to buy these, what you want to look out for, if I can bring it into the camera, is what they call here spindle length. You can get this length here in all different kinds. Typically they're described as short, medium and long and that's because of the depth of the project that you're working on. In this case we're working on a record which is really thin so you want the the small spindle. It's probably described as around six millimeters or quarter of an inch. Otherwise if you have a really long spindle then your hands will be way out here and they'll be far from the um, front of your record. So if you're looking for a clock kit go for the short quarter inch spindle length. Then I've got my hands and again the hands come in all sorts of different lengths. If you're doing a CD clock then obviously you don't want a hand this long because it would be poking out over the side. This one is, let me just add it to my ruler here, this one is six inches long in total and from the centre which is normally where they measure it from it's 120 millimetres or about four and a half inches and normally it's the minute hand that they'll give the dimensions for. So this is around four and a half inches from the centre which kind of comes around here so if you had numbers around the side it doesn't knock or um, obscure the numbers. So around four and a half inches is I think good or 120 mill millimeters for a record. So I've got my two hands and then the kit you may also get them with um, second hands and when it comes to your mechanism you can get what they call a continuous movement which is just smooth and just slowly glides all the way around or you can get one that ticks in which case if you do that then your second hand goes tick 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 tick. So that's another option. And then it comes with four other little parts. So today I'm going to try to put it together. So this record is already poured. It's got a, um, a label just here. So I'm going to just put my pokey tool right through the center and support it as it comes out the other side because now I need to make a hole in here. I'm just going to take some old kitchen scissors and put right through the center and gently push and make a circle. Now of course you can see what happens, the paint gets a little bit torn up here because it's plastic so just gently be careful not to, um, to make too much of a mess. Now your clock parts, these parts here, can cover up any slight mess that you make in the middle there but I'm just gently going around in a circle with my scissors just to open the hole out a little bit and I'm just going to pick off those little bits of paint and try and make it as neat as possible. So the spindle generally won't fit through the whole of the record, you need to enlarge it just a little bit, so let's see if I've done that enough. Now it needs to be just that little bit more, so I'm just going to get my scissors in there, turn them around a little bit and just slightly enlarge the hole and then I'll try again. Needs to be just a little bit more. So as I do it I'm just taking a slight bit of that black plastic off from the center of the record. You can see here on my scissors just taking a little bit of that black plastic off and so the hole's a little bit bigger now than it was. Let's pop that through and now it fits all the way through the center of the record like that. So now in terms of all these little bits and pieces you have a design choice to make now because you can put this um, black washer on the front or the back. So if you put it on the front obviously what you'll end up with is a black circle in the center of your record and you may or may not want that. If you don't you can always fit it on the back too. So um, you would fit it on first. The, your kit may be slightly different but mine, the washer here, has a slight indent. So you put that on first 
and then put the metal washer on the top like that through the back of the record and then it has this other washer um, like the uh, the other part of the nut and bolt if you like with the thread that goes on here and you can just gently turn that on with your fingers so now if you've made a, a mess of the paint then this may well just cover it up if not then you'll probably want to put the the rubber washer on the outside so now you need a little tool get yourself some pliers and what I like to do is just carefully hold on to the nut and then I actually turn the mechanism rather than the nut so that what I'm doing is turning it on but I'm not moving my pliers on the front so I'm keeping my pliers still and I'm moving the mechanism on the back because I don't want the pliers to slip and then potentially scratch the paint on the front of the record so I'm holding that still and trying not to scratch the paint as I'm turning the clock and you'll you'll feel when it's right because it starts to tighten up well, there we are, keep it on the front, tighten the back and you get to a point where the record doesn't spin mine spins just a little bit so I'm going to tighten up just that little bit more and now my record is fixed on there and it doesn't spin now of course if you have a design on your record or whatever you've poured that you want to have um, an up and a down the clock mechanism has on the back here whoops there we go has a little um, hanging hook so that would be the top of your mechanism so if you have a, a way that you prefer your design to be up make sure that when you do it that you hang it so that your design is showing correctly from the front so now to put the hands on it's very simple if you look let me bring up this spare mechanism if you look carefully on the mechanism you see it has two plastic parts one is slightly bigger and one is slightly smaller and that is to accommodate the different sized holes oh there we are different sized holes if you can see them in the hands so i'm going to put the um the hour hand on first that has the larger hole so i just press that down here now i've put it on the flat surface so that that is um so the clock is flat on the back and then I'm just pressing here. Obviously don't press on the ends because you'll, um, you'll bend the, the hands or you could potentially snap them. So make sure that you're pressing firmly down into the center. And then the other hand goes on the top. This one has the smaller hole, so that fits on the smaller part of the plastic there. And then my kit comes with this little part here and that just slips directly into the center. So there's both of my hands in place and now when you go over to the back you have um, this little turning mechanism and as you turn it it gives you a direction to turn it which is either way and as you turn it you can watch the hands go around and you just make sure that you've got them on um, without bending them and they aren't knocking into each other and then that's it your clock is all ready to go so thank you very much for watching. I will put a link where I got the clock mechanisms. I bought them on Etsy. Then um, you can get, basically, you can get some really, really cheap ones on places like eBay, but the, you get them from China. And if you have a look at the reviews on them, the reviews are not good. A lot of it arrives damaged. The clock mechanisms don't work. The hands are bent. So I'm recommending that if you want to turn something into a clock, you do spend a little bit more money, buy a slightly nicer, um, better quality, uh, clock mechanism better hands make sure it's shipped from somewhere locally and then I think you'll be a lot more happier with your result thanks very much for watching and I hope you will make some of your own clocks spin some records do a little bit of fun pouring make some clocks and maybe pop into my Facebook group and show your end results I look forward to seeing you there soon